All right, hello YouTube, this is Ryan. I'm the developer of Zoa, and today I wanna to show you a new feature in Zoa 1.2, which is the new modulation outputs feature. You can now use MIDI CC messages that are derived from Zoa's game of life to control parameters on your synthesizers. Uh, this will work with your software synthesizers in AUM, which is the host app I'm using here. But I've also used it uh, to send control signals to my modular synth, and I've had a lot of fun using it that way. So today I'm going to show you how to use Zoa to control uh, just a couple parameters on the Moog Model D, which is a synth that just sounds incredible. I've got this nice kind of soft uh, pad, and I want to use Zoa to play this pad and also we'll modulate the filter cutoff. But before we do that, let's just talk through what the mod outputs are so you know um, what, they, what you can expect. We have population density, which um, is the kind of number of living cells as a fraction of the total grid size. We have uh, fertility, which is the number of born cells as a fraction of the previous population size. We have mortality, which is the number of died cells as a fraction of the previous generation's population size. And we have stability, which is high when two generations have about the same population size. When there's a lot of fluctuation in the population size, we'll have low stability. There's also uh, per voice random values. So we have voice one random, voice two, voice three, and voice four. And these are regenerated each time a voice plays a new note. So what let's do is let's just enable these, keeping in mind the, the CCs. Uh, we can change those if we want. And these values will all be stored in, in whatever preset we happen to save. So just keep that in mind. We do have the ability to set kind of a crude range, uh, just to say maybe we want the values to be in the higher end of the MIDI range or the lower end of the range. And we also have a smoothing parameter. Since these values get updated like all at once, if you wanna have slow changes from one to the next, you can drag the slider to the right like that. So let's use maybe like the fertility to modulate our cutoff. So we have that enabled in Zoa. Let's go to the Moog Model D and let's press on these faders here. We'll notice we have this MIDI controls menu and we're gonna say, oh, it says no MIDI source, tap to connect. So we're gonna also route Zoa uh, to AUM's kind of like MIDI control bus, if you will. So I've activated that. This does take a few steps. Now let's actually connect the MIDI CC, which was 22, to the filter cutoff. So I'm going to scroll down here. Cutoff frequency, set that to channel 1, and I went too far. 22, which was our filter, um, our fertility CC. All right, well, I was gonna load a preset, but let's just see how it sounds. So we can see the filter cutoff knob moving, and it updates every new generation. So what let's do is, let's maybe up the rate of generations. And let's add some smoothing. Now we can see that knob is taking time to go from one to the next. All right.
wait, maybe let's use another, like, voice random to modulate the filter emphasis. So for filter emphasis, we'll go back to the faders and we'll scroll down till we find that parameter. Let's, um, let's use voice one random, which is CC25. And let's do that. Ooh. So here's a good example of where it would be useful to limit the range. So let's do that in ZOA. Instead of generating a full range of random values, let's just cut that back to kind of like the bottom third. So now we can see that knob is moving only in the kind of the lower part of the range. So this video is just designed to be kind of a quick getting started. Uh, I've created really interesting soundscapes using all eight of Zoa's modulation outputs simultaneously. So I'm looking forward to hearing, you know, what you make with Zoa. It's really exciting. I hope people like this. I think it's a really fun new feature that comes with version 1.2. If you like Zoa, uh, please leave a rating on the App Store. It really helps with the long-term success of the app. Subscribe to this channel. I kind of I'm giving updates on my current and future projects and uh, making more tutorials for people. So hope you have a good rest of your day and have fun making music.